Today we're going to talk about three new development projects that are underway in San Diego right now. Number one is the Seaport Village Embarcadero expansion, uh, renovation, whatever you want to call it. That is currently in environmental review. This is going to be an awesome multi-billion dollar project that's going to change the complete aesthetic of downtown San Diego. They're adding hotels, retail, they're adding this like spire thing that has like a circular uh, restaurant at the top. It looks awesome. It's also going to be functional. They're they're adding like a usable beach that you can go down and hang out and play in the water. This is a very cool project that is the actual tail end of the entire North Embarcadero Visionary Plan project that they started tons of years ago where they're adding parks in along the Embarcadero too. This culminates in probably 2026 or 27 where it's all said and done where you're actually getting to use this type of stuff. But this is going to be a very cool add on to the downtown San Diego skyline. Number two happening right now is down in Chula Vista. The design of the Bayfront down there is under way they have the Gaylord Hotel and Convention Center which is going to be a huge huge drawing point to the Chula Vista Bayfront that project alone has spurned other developers to come in and start working you have one called Bayview one called Amara these are multiple developmental projects happening in the Chula Vista Bayfront billions of dollars in capital going in to renovate that entire area I am really really excited to see all of the new retail and the different tourist attractions that are going to come in once the hotels and convention centers are built but Chula Vista just west of the five between like E and F, that whole area is going to be a tourist destination. And then number three is the Midway Project, which is going to be the renovation of the sports arena. So there is a group of money in on that project, which includes Brad Termini, Manny Machado, a bunch of other names locally that we may know, uh, as well as some foreign money that's coming in to completely revitalize that entire area. So they're not only going to scrape the sports arena, they're going to build a new arena there, but they're also going to have a, a ton of retail apartment condos and other office buildings too including some affordable housing over in that area that project just got held up for historical review what they're trying to do is kind of change the plans to showcase some like photos of the old sports arena and some sort of like art exhibit which showcases what the old sports arena used to look like because it was deemed historic but in the meantime they're going forward with this historical view to potentially try to scrape it off build a new arena plus all the new stuff that area really can use some revitalization that whole kind of industrial strip where the sports arena is, is kind of like seedy and whatnot. There's like a bunch of fast food chains. There's like strip club and stuff like that. I think that entire area would benefit from this entire new redesign project. And that is underway called the Midway Rising Project. And that's in historical review right now.